He'll be at Collingwood on the weekend. Amazing. You see the gold in the last minute. Elliot, amazing. Was it? Oh, g'day, guys. How are you going? Just catch it up with an old mate. Say g'day to Wedgie. Awesome bloke to have around, and he's going to help me because today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about hanging a door properly. And it is so much easier with a reliable mate. Now, buddy, you need to hurry up and finish that coffee because we've got some work to do. Kids these days. Unbelievable. Before Wedgie and I can get started, let's take a look at the door we're replacing. If you can still call it that, it is stuck and disintegrating. The problem is they've used the wrong door in the wrong position. But don't worry, it's an easy DIY fix. Oh, gee, there's got to be an easier way to open up a door than that. Now, let's have a look what's wrong with this one. For starters, it's delaminating, but if we knock it, we can see it's a hollow core door, which means it's made for inside, not outside. But before we go ripping it off and throwing it away, we want to check how the door fits. So we know it's a little bit tight, but we can still use this door as a template for our new door to mark out our hinges. That way we know that our checkouts will line up with the jam. You're my supernova. All right, let's talk doors. So here we have two doors that look exactly the same, but they're actually quite different. This one is solid, and this one is hollow. I'll show you if you don't believe me. This is very heavy. And this one, oh, I could play with it all day. Now, both of these doors can be used externally if you're going to be painting your door. But if you need security, you'll be going with the solid door. And if you're not too worried about security, you can go with the hollow one. Now, I'm not going to be using any of these doors because I want to go with something that's a bit more contemporary. I want to try and get light into this garage. So I'm going to be using this solid timber glazed door, which is very heavy too. <laughs> When you're working with a glazed door, you just want to make sure that you put the right side facing out. And that is the side with the glazing beads. If you're unsure which side that is, there is a sticker to tell you that. Because that is going to determine what side you put the hinges on. So now we've got that worked out, I can sit the existing door down and I'm just going to line up the hinge side and the top and then I can transfer these marks down to our existing door. For the hinges, I've had to go with a wider leaf. And that's because if we look at the existing jam, they've actually pushed the ball of the hinge too far in. So it's touching the edge when it should actually be set back like so. And then you end up with this gap here that you need to fill. But to save you from doing that, I've just put the wider leaf in. With the door marked, we now need to stand it up on edge to work on it. And that's where our mate Wedgie comes into play. We'll hold it in place while we do our checkouts. But before we do that, I'll show you how to make a Wedgie of your own. You know all that timber you've been hoarding? Well, it does come in handy. So to make this jig, the first thing we need to do is make the base. It's as simple as sitting this in place, and you just want to make sure that the gap between the wedge and this square block is at least 50 mil, because we know that's going to be the widest door that we get. Then, if you get a 35 mil door, you just push this wedge through till the gap between here gets to 35 mil. As simple as that. having an extra set of hands. <laughs> and to fit the hinge, you want to sit it in place in between the two marks that we did. And obviously, I've got the set back of my hinge, which I took earlier off the jam. Then I'll pre-drill a couple of holes, temporarily screw it in place, go around the edge with a Stanley knife, remove the hinge, and then use a chisel to clean it out. Beautiful. 
With the door hung, we can now work on fitting the lock. I'm going to choose this rung here, and I'll set it up right in the centre. Just when you thought a wedgie couldn't get any better. <laughs> and when you are drilling your lock, you want to make sure that you're drilling from both sides. That way, you don't get a dirty hole at the back. Smooth as. Before I fit the lock, I'm just going over the whole door with an exterior varnish, the colour, Oregon. What's the saying? An extra set of hands come in handy. Many hands make light work. You know what I mean. But that's what made this job so easy. And that's why I'll be keeping my mate for the next job.